Hi, welcome guys to Be More Wild and this is the third installment of my latest gear haul. Quite excited again. I think I start this all the time recently saying this, but I've got another delivery package of stuff that's come through, mainly from Amazon. Amazon's quite good for <laughs> getting this, this camping stuff and the bits and bobs that I need. So this is my third gear haul and kind of finalising everything that I needed. So the hammocks and the uh, sleeping mats, a winter sleeping bag, which I didn't own, but we're gonna go through that. I just wanna show you what I've got for this lot. And this stuff hopefully is gonna see me through my next trip out in October. I've got one in November as well. So we're gonna be testing out some of these new bits for that as well. It's a mixture of items. So hopefully you like what I've got. If any of it you're interested in buying or you wanna see reviewed or tested in the videos, just put a comment below saying what it is, why you want to see it and stuff, and I'll make sure that it's used next time. So yeah, please like and share. We'll get cracking on with the bits and bobs I've got. So, where do we start? This is one of the things that's come. No, it's not a colostomy bag. It is a five litre sort of water carrier. It, quality wise, I mean, I'm, until I test it, I'm not fully going to know. It doesn't feel the strongest of plastics because it could actually break quite quick, but I'm sure it'll be enough to do the job, what is required. But yeah, I was five litres, fill it up from the lid. And you can carry it with you to the icon. I guess it's a form of emergency supply, what I'm bringing it for. Not far in Faversham, there is a natural spring. So if there is a chance to get down there at some point, Good text with me, fit it up, and I've got water to use as and when I need. Uh, but because it's the first time I'm going out, I'll probably just bring me own water for these strips. Where these books as well? I did buy these books as well. Paleo Manifesto and The Warrior Diet. We'll get we'll get more into the nutritional lifestyle aspects of what, what I'm trying to achieve as well at another time down the line in the future. Um, our ancestral living and lifestyles and stuff but for now we're just going to focus on some of the gear i've got for the camping and bushcrafting you've seen all these already these will be coming with me on the next trip so i've got my memora, memora blade that's going to be coming with me wolverine saw and my open nail blade I didn't buy them recently they're not part of this so this has come this is the highlander mini gear what's it called mini gear store they've called it but yeah it's just a gear hammock by highlander highlander pretty good especially on the beginners budget scale things when you just want to test stuff before you spend tons of money highlander do do a quite a fair range of items and this mini hammock gear store was about eight pounds nine pounds when i looked at it it actually can hold up to up to 100 kilograms, that's that's pretty good. It's the, I think it's the webbing style that I got. I think it says on here, uh, string net, sorry, not webbing, string net. There's an image here, which doesn't actually show it what it looks like, but you'll see it on the weekend when I bread it, get it out. It's gonna be like a, you can see it here, sort of material at the moment, like a webbing string. We'll get all that out on the day. Reason I've got this is, a lot of the woods have been too lately around this area. I've just been running the muck with ants and lots of creepy crawlies and critters, as you would expect in the forest. So just got one of these and I hang it underneath my hammock or maybe next to it, depending on the space what's permitted. I'm gonna chuck the bag and all the stuff on top of this just to keep it off the ground. For eight quid. It's not exactly like a big size either. Really, that even fit in the bag. I know they do do a hammock as well, and a tarp set for about fifty pounds, which is quite a good deal. What we've got is the bushcraft. It comes from bushcraft. You know, I don't know what the BCB stands for. Um, BCB Avenger, and they do a bushcraft wash bag. So, I was going to use um just a normal wash bag, but I saw this army colours, it opens up nicely in the middle. I'll get this out at some point. 
but I bought this just to store all the wash bag stuff. So I will be using some wet wipes if I need to, and I'll probably boost some toothpaste and toothbrush and all them bits of bobs. Um, Lou roll, without fitting in or not, I don't know, but it's gonna be quite a handy thing to have. And it's, it doesn't take up too much space in the bag, I hope. It levels sort of the cleany wash bits, the important stuff. Fire lighters, I bought these, I'll break a couple off and they'll go into my emergency bag. So if you do struggle to find tinder or make a fire, especially in beginner stages like I am, I've got them as backup. So I'll definitely have to get a fire going. Um, can't go away without a first aid kit. So just bought a general medi kit, first aid, I do from there. Little carabiner as well, or plastic clip, you can cook on the outside. So, if you don't want to put it on top of your bag for emergency exit, you can actually have it hanging on the outside of your bag, which I thought was quite cool. Instant access when you, you most need it. Right, these just a luxury item. Sometimes I get carried away and just want to get stuff for the sake of it, but these are long burning incense citronella sticks. The weather's changing now, so flies and the mozzies I haven't noticed as much at night but I've got these so in an evening especially if you're near lakes or water you can sort of light these put them near the, the hammocks and it hopefully will keep the bugs away we'll soon know if they work but you get 50 of them they're on Amazon as well right. they Amazon or eBay but I think it's Amazon um, this has come through now this is by IE Geek or actually it's not by IE Geek, it says IE Geek here. But actually it's called Nature Hike Outdoors. It's a sleeping bag. It's an extra large season free sleeping bag. So it goes down to I can see it somewhere on here. About eight degrees. It's fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, comfort is fifteen degrees Celsius. Limit is eight degrees. And it's extra large so it's a bit wider than normal and it's 205 so it will fit a tall person in and it comes with compression straps as well which is handy so you hopefully pull these a bit tighter 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 down the line and I pack it and it should squeeze probably a little bit more down to about there not a huge deal I've already tightened it a bit but yeah winter sleeping bag is really going to be needed luxury item Everyone kept talking about the uh, inflating pillows, the blow-up pillows, and I was going to get one, but when I started watching more people using them, they were moaning that once you put air in them, they are quite hard and rigid, and after testing one of my friend's ones out, it, it didn't feel comfy, it did feel, even though it was soft with air, it was still quite hard on the head. So what I've actually gone for is Trekmates. Luxury pillow, it's a foam one. So you can squeeze it down a bit more if I need to. But it's gonna feel probably a bit more like a real pillow. Now, I know all the people that are hardcore bushcrafters that bare minimum everything. Look, my first time sleeping out in the woods doing this. For now, I'm transitioning from the modern world of luxury, sleeping in tents, hammocks, and eventually bivvies on the floor. I'm transitioning and this going to give me a bit of comfort as and when I want it so for now this will be coming with me down the line I'll be doing videos where I won't be taking hardly any of this stuff and I'll be trying to use more of skills that I've learned at the moment my skill knowledge is too low for me to not have some of this stuff so that's why this is coming a bit of luxury this is a tarp by Enkio or N yeah Enkio it's a three by three meter tarp, comes with all the pegs, all the stuff that I need. So I didn't have a tarp. So this is what I'll be hanging over the hammock system that we set up to hopefully keep the wind and the rain away. But I'm hoping, checking out the weather forecast on my phone, and I'm watching that, it was saying that it's gonna be cloudy for the next few days. So hopefully no rain, and hopefully not too cold in the evenings, but it's dropping down to six degrees. But hopefully that's gonna help a bit. 
this was the hammer couple by Coverture. Comes in a nice bag with an eagle on it. And then she comes inside a little bag like this with some sort of mini instructions. And it looks like there's some instructions there on the outside. Have a little look. Yeah. So that's good. It's got the instructions, all the stuff you need, how you tie it, best ways of doing it. So that's a nice feature for a complete, complete beginner. That's going to be handy. Then everything should be inside this little bag. And that bag, when you compare this to bringing the tent, I mean, the size difference is in. You know, can't really compare them. I mean, I've got a tent sitting here, which will come to some things. So you've got to pack this or pack this. Obviously, they've all got pros and cons. We'll go over that someday in the future. But the size and weight, hammocks are winning. For comfort and protection of the elements and shelter and all that stuff, this will win. But you can get that. With your tarp. With your gear hammock. With your luxury pillow. And your sleeping bag. And still, take up their space in the 110. So that's a, that's a massive, massive difference. And this is probably why a lot of people are doing the hammock systems. It's got a portability factor. You know, you can do so much. With a hammock and they are patterned to be really comfy. Time will tell. This was a bit of a random buy that you're probably thinking. Garden kneading pad. I thought about it, you know, my right knee, um, got damaged quite a few years ago. You know, it is quite weak at times. It can give way. It's not solid. The kneecap is loose. So just to help my knee out at times for kneading and stuff. Thought I'd get this quite handy on the rough terrain. Kneading down, take the pressure off my kneecap. Uh, it can also be put down the back of the bag. So a bit of back support rest if need be. Um, that's it really. Maybe you can use it as a, something to rest on. I don't know. Put your cup on it, make a little coaster out of it, I don't know. It's just that I thought that'd be handy for when my knees are in pain. This is um, bigger than I thought it'd be, but for what it is, it probably makes sense. It's the inflatable sleeping mat. Those people are using these, I've never used them before, but it's a self-inflating one, which you can um, spread yourself it's water resistant, 38 millimeters wide, 183 long, so it should fit inside the sleeping bag. Sleeping bag then will go into the hammock. So hopefully this, because I don't have the under blanket for the hammock, which will stop the heat escaping from my back and the cold coming up. Um, so this going underneath me will temporarily act as a barrier from the cold by reflecting my heating and it's waterproof. So I'm gonna test it see how it works it might not work you know I've seen people use these and it takes away the comfort of the hammock because it's very rigid setting its shape we will see inflating mat is going to be tested these just replacement batteries in bulk why do we need these well I've got a head torch and a hand torch that's what these are for just to have backup batteries as I need them and Batteries in conjunction with foil and a bit of cotton wool. You've got an instant fire star as emergency backup. Lighters. Bought five, about three quid. They're the jet ones, so second you need fire, literally. You got jet fire. Being a water treat. Emergency situation, if you need a quick fire, that pop out. You cotton wool, or if you ain't got that, and you still got one of your fire lighters in your emergency possibles bag. Bam. So, we are now on to safety, health and safety, the bit that everyone loves. That is sarcasm. That is fine, it's there. But no, health and safety is important, and especially for beginners, 
you know, I said, all this new, there's so much information and stuff to learn and do at the beginning. Sometimes your brain gets a bit overwhelmed, overloaded. So you need to make sure you're covering all the basics with safety, your knife, you're cutting away. You're not even limbs exposed, you're cutting away from your body. You're not cutting wood in between your legs in that triangle of death, they call it, of all your arteries. And then other things like when you're using your axe and stuff, you know, um, chips and wood will flick out, stuff can spit and go in your eye. So, especially for now, beginner stages, I'm sure a lot of the advanced people won't be using these ever. It's another luxury item, but I'm going to be taking these with me. They're not big, they'll fit in my bag easily. I can even wear them or hang them off a cord around my neck. Just safety eyewear. Um, be using these for um, chopping wood and I'll probably be using them when I do some of the um, shooting and stuff. Your eyes are important, you know. So, look after them. Torch. So, my solar bank, power bank, has a backup flashlight. Don't really want to be using that for that though. I want to be using it to charge my devices. Head torch, I've got as well. But if the batteries go in there, it's nice to have a backup torch and it's just a handheld torch which will fit in my bag. And it's pretty much just an emergency backup light as and when if I need it. You know? So that's what I put that for, and that's what the batteries are for as well. Just to use this. Yeah, it's 40 times brighter than a normal flashlight. It has flash, strobe, low, medium, and high. It's three AAA batteries, aluminium. It's by Lumenza, so we'll see. But I'm sure it'll be fine for what we need right now. Handheld flashlight. Head torch will be the main one because it keeps your hands free to do what you want. Okay, bought this but from Mountain Warehouse. It's an 80 litre dryer pack liner. Liner, so it's, it's a big old boy. 80 litre. Then my bag I'll be taking. Essentially is 70, 75 litre. So this gives it a bit more space. I've seen a lot of people use this now. I'm just gonna be sticking this inside the bag. I want it protects the inside of the bag and it will keep everything dry and secure inside. So I'm sure it's decent quality, you know, but that'll be coming, I think, on the next trip, definitely. Here come out of the bag yet but here we've got a company called survive it survive it's a fire starter and a whistle kit so it's not been opened yet but yeah so you see we've got emergency whistle and then the fire steel so hang these properly I don't know yet. I'll either attach it to my knife set or maybe wear it around my neck. The necklace, take the whistle. Undecided yet. I'll put it inside my tinder patch. We'll see. But yeah, could be needed. So, as you can see as well, there's loads of variations that I'm going to be able to hopefully start fires as well until I learn the basic bushcraft stuff. Tripod for my camera. Not to do bushcraft, but for the filming side. Gonna need a tripod to make the videos better. SD card, same reason for the new camera that's coming. Empty envelope. Very handy for you know, pulling into and disposing. I'm joking. Don't do that at home, kids. Or adults. Um, this one isn't essential, but when I went camping with David and Alex, I'm sure you saw the video, they snore. They really snore. So I bought these for the days that I'm doing it with other people. So if they do snore, these are going in my ears because I'm a light sleeper. So I've got these to make sure I do get a better night's sleep and not awakened by any snoring. So that's all they are. They're um, silicone earplugs. Better night's sleep. Sleep's important if you're tired make mistakes it just ruins the experience so got these just to help me sleep better when I'm doing a, a trip with people here 
This is called Fire Dragon. It's just fire blocks. So you saw my Nixada camp stove before that I used. It can be used for wood or it can be used with fire blocks. And that's what these are. Uh, the Fire Dragon is a lightweight, environmentally friendly, waterproof, solid cooking fuel. It is used to light fires, cook food and boil water in all weather conditions. The solid fuel blocks are quick and easy to ignite even when wet, odorless and non-toxic. So it results in a clean burn. Can be used as an and cleanser. Using it as a waterless soap may affect burn times. So it's got multiple uses actually. Let's have a look. I've never actually used these before. Again there. Oh there. Little packs like that. I've got them again as a medical supply. I'll stick one inside me food bag bit. I'll create a food pouch bit and I'll stick one inside me emergency tinder supply bit. That's what they're going to be used for. Okay. No longer will you see me using plastic knife and fork sets that I snap inside the meat when I'm eating or melt on the fire. I've invested in titanium sporks and these are by a company called Overmount. And they, they weren't actually a bad price, but you get two of them for about eight quid. These were on Amazon. Um, titanium sporks. 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 So these will be coming with me now and these will be used in combination with my open L. So when it comes to eating, it'll be this knife, this fork, or this spoon. And that'll be my cutlery set. Compact, hopefully this will fit with my Pathfinder gear. Maybe I can slide it in, we'll see. But yeah, nice and compact. That's what I'm gonna need. What else have we got here? Oh yeah, these came through today. No chance to cut these away yet. So inside here, Put loads of these little pouches, bags. So inside here, for one, it's going to fit all my electricals for recording and stuff, so they're all secure and separate from everything else. Um, multiple sizes, little ones as well, down to really tiny. So I'll, I'll try and work out what works best for what. But these will be just a way of organising myself inside my pushcart bag. Hopefully I can sort of label these or maybe get colour coded versions, different colours. So as soon as I open my bag I know what's what and what's in where. Oh, yeah. Dry sacks. I see a lot of people doing that. And, um, one of the best ways to learn is to follow the people that are doing something good. And if you can relate to them and you enjoy what they're doing, it makes sense. And then do it. You know, good people to learn from on YouTube. There are lots of good people to learn from, and one day I hope to be one of them. <laughs> uh, lots of bags. This is what I've got. It's a mini filter straw by Hydromate. It literally, it's just a, a water filtration system. This is what you get inside it. So you get a Hydromate mini filter straw, a Hydromate foldable bottle, all-in-one lid, compass and mirror, neck strap and release clip, straws, I'm not sure how good they are, but it's got all the information written on here. We'll go through this at some point, we'll test it out. But it's an emergency supply, so if need be, and you can't, you run out of your water that you bought with you, and you are relying then on natural springs, or you don't have to fill lake water, or something like that, you can use these. You know. I'm sure. Well, I don't know what they do. I don't even know how to use them. So it's just a matter of trial and error, I think. See how they are. There they go. I've not heard of Hydrogen Mate. I don't really know much about the brands. I know a lot of people use the Soya ones. But for now, that was in my budget. We'll test it out and see how good it is. I think. I'm right. These are more waterproof bags. These came today as well. Yeah. So the other ones you saw, they're tire ones, so they're not really waterproof, water will penetrate. These are very similar to the other ones I've got. Three sizes. But again, there's a lot of space here. Maybe these ones could be used for me, let's go on the other one, put them in, roll them over, crack the seal. So that could be quite handy. And it's a nice image.
man and his dog. Looks like they're on a hunt. Yeah. 31 today as well. I'll be recording another video uh, going through which bags I'm going to take and what gear I'm taking for this three days in the woods. And hopefully I'll make some good choices with it. Be nice to hear your feedback on what I should be taking in the future. We'll be taking more than I probably need, mainly for the fact I've got a lot of gear I want to test out and get on camera. And that's the best time to do it, really. This came through today. It is infantry. It's, a, it's just a basic watch, really. A military watch. Now, I've got my iWatch, my Apple Watch. Bought the new Series 4 came today. And this is mainly so I can set my iPhone up and record with that. And I can actually see what I'm doing the watch actually lets me see what the camera's doing. So I haven't got to worry about flipping the screen. I've got another separate camera coming that will be able to do multiple videos, different angles and stuff. Um, the watch is also handy because it can tell me the weather conditions and stuff. Um, and it's an emergency survival tool as well. You know, you've got an SOS button, so if you do lose your phone, this is waterproof, so if you fell over, or if you lost all your stuff in the water somehow, your watch will still be on you, you can get out, it'll still be working, and you can SOS. But this is the watch. Inventory, basic watch. I'll whack it on this arm. If it gets scratched and damaged, it doesn't matter. Seven quid. Well, my iPhone and my Apple Watch, I probably won't want to be using when I'm doing more of the cutting and lifting and scraping stuff. But yeah, you know, for seven quid, can't complain really, it comes in a nice box as well. Actually, actually looks more expensive than what it is, the way they package it. So yeah, it's a watch, for 10 in the time. And then, the last two things I got was this UCO candle lantern. This is quite exciting, I wanted a lantern, but I prefer more of the natural light stuff with candles. So you literally hang it, <coughs> sneeze, hang it, That's me. Hang it, and it opens and closes. You get a candle, and obviously you got a candle light. There the candles I bought. So one candle will last nine hours. Three candle pack will last you 27 hours burn time. So you've got a whole day of burning light if you need to. They're not the cheapest candles, about fiver for the three, which isn't bad, but you're not gonna be using these all the time. There are paraffin lanterns out there, but they're far more expensive than these. So I thought for now, nice sort of lantern, can hang it above the hammock, probably on the guy line, or if I do a tent camp, hang it up inside. It's just nice, you've got a nice bit of natural light for reading. And that's everything. That is literally all my stuff. As you can see, I'll hang the camera over there. That is the collection of stuff that's coming with me. Not coming with me, that I've just bought. The new things I'm really most excited about testing now is the lantern obviously the hammock and then I'm hoping this as well the sleeping bag is going to be comfortable it's all, it's all new this is all new trial and error some of the gear that I get is cheap and it's good some is going to be cheap and crap some of the stuff is a bit more expensive and that could be crap as well I don't know yet no it's all learning I'm learning about the brands the quality of stuff and how things work but this is what it's all about you know, you're seeing the beginner's perspective from everything from bushcraft, camping, you know, and adventure travel, even filming, you know. Started off with an older phone, now I'm using a new phone, hoping my watch is gonna work well with it, gonna get a new camera, works with it. It's all exciting. This is the latest gear stuff I've got. If you wanna see any of it in the next in the next trip, tell me what it is you wanna see and I'll take it with me. If you want any of this to be reviewed or you want your feedback, want to hear feedback on any of this stuff, like the UCO lantern, the eye protectors, I don't know, the, the gear hammock, again, let me know, comment below, ask me, and I will 100% do it in, in a future video. So I will see you in the next video where I'm actually going to pull out a bag, we're going to talk about the trip and then decide what I need to take for this trip and why. And just go with it. I'm excited. I really hope you like these videos that we're making. You know, it's all a learning curve and it's all going to get better in future over time through experience and learning. So thank you for watching. And remember, like, share, subscribe and comment please. Check out the website bemorewild.com 
and yeah all your support is really really appreciated honestly so thank you and stay wild